Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0, and today is day 34. So yesterday I introduced you to DocuSign via Opportunities, and we started adding in some documents that we needed filled out and signed. Today we're going to do exactly that. So let's go into the Opportunities applet, sixth one down, the handshake. We're going to load that actual opportunity by clicking on our listing pipeline and we're going to go into the active phase and we're going to click on the opportunity. From there we're going to go into the documents tab so that we can then go to transaction. This is going to open the DocuSign room that's already associated with this specific opportunity. And because I've previously signed in it's just going to take me right there. It may require that you sign in. But you would go ahead and do that and then you can see these are the documents that we previously brought into this room yesterday. Now quick note, if you like this form view, leave it as it is. Some people like the list view. You can go there and actually have the list view. So it really just kind of depends on how you're used to seeing the documents inside of your uh, room. So I'm going to go back to grid view and let's say that I need to get this amendment filled out. So the first thing I need to do is actually click on the amendment so that I can fill out all of the appropriate spots. So you can see it automatically brought over property address one and the state and city, right? It didn't actually bring in the state, so we'll put in Florida here, right? You always wanna double check everything. And then I was testing this earlier, so I've already filled in these boxes. Now typically this form would be blank, so I could click on any of these boxes or any of these check boxes and fill them out appropriately. Since this one's already been filled out, I can go ahead and review everything. Does it look good? Yes, it does. All right, great. Let's go ahead and save and close. Now let's assume that we had done that for the other four documents as well, and maybe these are already signed. We just need this one signed. The process is exactly the same, no matter how many documents you're putting in. But let's just assume we just need this one signed. We would click on the little radio button in the top left, and you'll see that button as you hover over each document. You can choose one or more or all of your documents at once to sign. Now again, we just said we're gonna get this amendment signed, but as we choose the document, you'll see you get this toolbar that pops up here at the top. We want to create an envelope. So we're gonna choose that pin icon. That's the kind of starts off this signing process. The first thing we wanna do is address our envelope name. It defaults to please DocuSign. My recommendation is that you change that name to reference whatever it is. So this is listing amendment number one, and I might even put the date on there. So that way, when I go back and look at my notifications in the future, or not my notifications, I apologize, my envelopes in the future, I can see which one is which. Now I can see here's the document included in this envelope. If for any reason I needed to add some additional documents, oops, I forgot to grab that one or that other, I can go to room documents, and you can see what's inside the room. You can also use a template. We'll have a future video on that. Or you can upload them from your computer, Dropbox, Google Drive, etc. Next, we need to add the people that need to sign this envelope. So we're gonna click on Add Recipient, and I highly recommend using pre-tagged roles. This will automatically drop in initials and signatures where possible if the document is already pre-formatted. So we're gonna choose pre-tagged roles, and it's gonna say who is what. So we want the listing agent, and it's gonna say, well, who's the listing agent? We're gonna scroll down and find my name. I am the listing agent. Now, who is the seller? We want seller one. Who is that? Let's scroll down. There's Donald Duck. Cool, we've got me as the listing agent. Donald is seller one, add selected. Now you'll see we are both listed as recipients to the envelope. One right here next to my name references what order we're gonna receive this document. So right now we're both going to get the document at the same time. I would highly recommend that you change that, right? So instead of having you getting the documents exactly the same time as your client, I would recommend you get them first, your client gets them second. It's one last kind of fail proof, right? Just so you can go through and check out the documents, make sure there were no last minute issues. So once you've got the recipient order, you've got the envelope labeled, you've got your documents in, the last step is to fill out the email subject. So please review and sign amendment. Right, and then you put something in the email message. Here's the amendment 
we discussed via phone earlier today let me know if you have any questions right there you go so you can send that off by clicking on next now the next process before we actually send the envelope is dropping in the appropriate initials and signatures if required so in this case because we chose the pre-tagged roles you can see when we scroll down this document is already formatted to have the listing agent signature here and date signed and then the seller's initial and signature now if that wasn't the case or if you needed to do any modification to the document you have options so you can see if, if the signature wasn't automatically brought in i could drop the signature by clicking on signature i could drop in initials i could drop in date signed i also have the ability to drop in information about myself or the client and then I have some additional options such as text boxes. Let's say uh, we forgot to uh, check box number D, right? Letter D. I could drop in this checkbox, come over to checkbox value and click it. And then I would drop in a actual text box. So we're gonna say paragraph blank or change as follows. So paragraph five or change as follows. And then we would actually put in another text box and we would write out what was followed, right? So seller to repair leaky faucet at kitchen receipts to be provided prior to closing, right? Whatever you're gonna write in here. So you can see that that's an easy way to drop in your additional text boxes. Now that we've got everything looking good, everything's appropriately filled out, we've got the initials and signatures, date signed where they need to be, then the last step I recommend is recipient preview so you can look through it one more time and you can click on start to see what it would look like. Here's what you put in. All right, fill in. Yep, that's good. Fill in. Yep, that's good. I would sign. The date is already there. Good deal. All right, perfect. I can also view it as my client. So if I change viewing as Donald Duck, what's my client going to see? Well, when the client hits start, all they have to do literally is click on sign and they're done. Once you're done previewing it, you can click on the X in the top right and then go ahead and send out that document. Once you do that, you'll come back to the envelope screen where you'll see, okay, this envelope is being sent out and it needs my signature. I also just got an email that told me I have a document waiting for my signature. But since I'm inside of DocuSign, I can click on it, right? And then I can click on sign and it'll actually let me sign the document right here within DocuSign without having to go out and back in. I would click on start, that's filled in already, that's filled in, let me go ahead and sign it, click on finish, and now my side is done. Donald is now getting the email asking for his side to be filled out. Once that's done, the document will be brought back into your documents tab, and then we'll move forward from there. So that's it for today, guys. A little bit longer of a video, but really just teaching you how to fill out forms, fill out envelopes, get your initials and signatures, and get those sent off and returned. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day, and as always, I look forward to talking to you again real soon.